Hi again. Well, I'm delighted yet again this summer to talk about a new signing coming to the club, Jules Rigg. Um, how how is it going? How are you doing? Yeah, all good. All good with me. Um, it's nice to sort of get this sorted now. It's been a bit uh, of a few decisions made, but I'm I'm happy to be here. So, well, in my mind, you've clearly made the best decision because um, you've come to join us here at Froome Town. Um, if you don't mind, how how did it all come about? Um. Well, obviously, I committed to Chippenham for the for the coming season. Um, then there was a sort of few things going on, um, which obviously I'm not going to go into. But uh, yeah, that's that's where I was at at Chippenham. Uh, and then I spoke to um, Sam Till, the the club captain. Um, he sort of told me that they were looking for looking for a centre midfielder. Um, he obviously was quite good at persuading me to be honest with you um <laughs> he is very good at that <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah it sort of suited my current situation I mean I'm starting up a business in Bristol um so the commitment side of it and the travel inside of it um did play a big factor for me as well so but yeah I'm delighted to be here Brilliant. And you mentioned there, obviously, centre midfield, um, people that follow all of the, the various non-league leagues and, and above um, will know you from being centre midfielder, also being a very versatile right back, win back as well. So um, is that just progressing with age? Are you thinking getting more in there? We spoke to a few of the other players and as they get older, they've been a bit like, yeah, let someone else do the running. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I'm 27, so I hope I don't feel like that yet. But um... <laughs> But yeah, so I can play centre midfield. Um, I've played there many games in my career so far. Um, I can also play right right back, right midfield. I've, I've been playing wing back as well. So yeah, quite versatile, really. So you, you mentioned obviously joining us from Chippenham, but um, it's quite interesting. We've been talking to a few of the other players about obviously how they started off into football and quite a few of the people that follow us um, actually like those sort of stories. And it stood out to me, obviously, like um, being at Stoke as an under-21 Um how was that? Yeah, that was a that was an unbelievable experience, and I'll, I'll always um, cherish that time. Um, so I moved there from the academy at Bristol City mm -hmm. when I was eighteen, um, and yeah, moved up to Stoke. Stayed there for I think it was about a couple of years in the end, um, playing in the development team there. But yeah, that was an amazing experience. I mean, there was loads of obviously Premier League footballers who I look up to, so it was good to be be around them and, and learn a lot of them. Um, I then came back to Bristol, had a couple of trials, um, didn't quite work out. I then signed a short term deal at Exeter. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was still sort of in the full time game there. Um, and then from there I joined Weymouth. I signed a, a deal at Weymouth and I ended up staying there for about three seasons from, from that moment I signed, um, which was great. I love the club. It's a great club to be at. Um, I think they were in the Southern Prem at that time. Um, at that point in my career, I sort of, I just needed first team football um, and just to get playing, play as many games as I could really. Um, and then from Weymouth, I signed for Bath City. Um, stayed there for a while as well, about three years I stayed there. Three, yeah, about three or four years. Um, enjoyed my time there, played centre midfield a little bit, played right back a little bit. So again, versatile. Um, and then I signed for Chippenham. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. And then here I am today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so your, your time at Stowe, you said, obviously, having the Premier League, did you get much interaction with the first team there? Is it something that they combine the trainings or is it, was there anyone uh, that you kind of played against? Was it Peter Crouch's era or was that before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Peter Crouch's era. Um, it was the last year of Michael Owen's playing career as well. Oh, wow. Uh, so that was a bit of a starstruck moment for me growing up watching him playing for England and, and Liverpool and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we trained alongside them and they also used us youngsters for, um, for shape on a Friday afternoon, uh, Friday morning. So yeah, that was a, that was a great experience, which I'll, which I can keep with me. So going, going from training with sort of people that I haven't heard of, such as like Michael Owen and people like that, um, to coming into the Froome squad, is there anyone that you're looking forward to playing with now that it sort of steps up a few levels? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I'm looking forward to playing with Sam for sure. He's a good friend of mine. Um, yeah. And we haven't really managed to uh, play together in our careers yet. But uh, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, that'd be great. 
And um, yeah, we've got, as we say, go through the score. We've got some great youngsters and great established players mm-hmm. that are in there. So um, it'll be nice to see, obviously, how how you come. What sort of, um, how would you describe yourself as a player then? What should the fans sort of expect from from you? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of a box-to-box player. Um, I'd say I'm more technical rather than speed. Um, but I, I can get around the pitch quite well. And yeah, I, I'm attacking but I also can do do the defensive side as well. So, yeah, box to box sort of uh, sort of midfielder. And have you given yourself any kind of personal targets um, for the season or anything like that, or is it? Yeah, I, I just want to score as many goals as I can from centre midfield. Um, I've sort of, I did it when I was at Weymouth a, a few a few years ago now. Um, not so much for Bath and Chippenham. I, I did play right back a little bit more there, so. Um, I was more crossing and, and whatnot. But um, yeah, I just want to score as many goals as I can, help the team take each week as it comes and hopefully get as many wins as we can and, and gain, get, gain promotion, really. It, it sounds like Danny's had a word then because all the interviews prior to Danny's one, everyone was saying, we're going for it, we're going for it. And then Danny was like, well, hang on, there's some decent teams in this league. <laughs> um, is, there, is there any games that are standing out for you already in that calendar or is it just all a bit new? Yeah, for me, it's, it's a little bit new. I mean, I've never I've never played in this league before, um, so it is quite new. But um, I know a few of the teams in the league and, and I know that, that they are good teams. Um, it certainly won't be easy, but we've got a task ahead of us. And yeah, when I spoke to Danny, our sort of main aim is promotion this year. Absolutely. Well, that's been absolutely brilliant, George. It's, we're so delighted to have you in the club for this season coming up and I'm sure the fans will, will show their appreciation um, when we see you out on that Badger Hill for the first time. Um, yeah. Thank you again for your time this afternoon on this boiling hot day, as neither of us will be inside. Um, <laughs> but thank you again for your time, and um, and we'll see you very shortly. Yeah, see you soon. Thank you very much.